Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in this video I'm going to be making a stylized fantasy uh, ground texture. So if you've seen any of my previous videos, you're probably familiar with how I create uh, things like grass or leaves and stuff like that. So I'm going to use the same technique for that in this case, which is using the waveform node. And then I'm going to duplicate some of the uh, some of the leaves to create one uh, complete leaf. So I'm going I'm going for a stylized fantasy style here. So the leaves themselves don't have to look uh, really realistic. So I just want to make them look relatively simple. I do want to add a little bit of uh, gradient variation on it. And then I'm going to use a tile sampler, which is usually the best way to kind of splatter a lot of one instance of a lot, a lot of one specific uh, shape. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a cells with an edge detect. I'm going to merge these two to create kind of like a cracked uh, ground texture. And with that, I'm also going to use a float fill to get uh, pretty much some uh, some variation on the on the height. And I'm obviously going to merge those two together. And I'm going to blur it just a little bit. Just so that the edges are just a little bit more uh, blurred and they're not super sharp. And then I'm just playing a little bit with the, with the scale of the ground texture. Until I get something that I think looks interesting. So it's good to warp it a little bit so, so that there's more, just so that the shapes are not super straight. Obviously it depends on the type of texture you're going for, but in this case I think that was a pretty good way to add more variation to the shapes themselves. And like I said, this is going to be a fantasy texture. So uh, the nice thing about creating stylized uh, textures is that there's a lot of freedom as to how you're going to make the texture look. So it's not necessarily based on reality and you have more artistic freedom to create something that just looks cool. And this is pretty much what I'm going for in this one. It's just creating something that I think looks cool and interesting. I also usually like to use a slow blur just to add more noise to the edges. And then I like to merge that with the original. But I try not to overdo it because usually when you use a slow blur and you overdo it, it's really noticeable uh, to someone else who has used the Substance Designer. So it's, a really, it's really easy to tell when you use the slow blur node on something. So you want to hide that a little bit, not make it too obvious. Uh, for the color map, I'm just going to use a gradient on a curvature smooth, which I also combined with another map just so that there's a little bit more, just so some spots are darker than others. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
uh, start to mask uh, where the leaves go. And then in this case, I just want them to scatter randomly across the, uh, the main ground texture. So I'm going to mess with some of the settings here. And then I'm obviously going to combine these two, uh, the leaves with the ground. And I'm also going to make the shape of the leaves just a little bit more flat. And obviously I'm going to get the leaf color from the same curvature smooth. I want this to be like a fantasy uh, ground texture. So, so I'm going to keep the leaves uh, color to be a little bit more, not super realistic. Like I said, I just want a few leaves on the ground. I just want it to be relatively random and not super uniform or specifically in a specific location. So one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to combine two different leaves uh, together so that I could change the color of the leaves. So in that case I was just going to try using a tile sampler. I later decided to just remove this uh, just because I, I didn't think it was working the way I intended it to work. So I just decided to delete that and instead for uh, to randomize the color of the leaves I decided to use a flat fill. Now this is not necessarily the best way to do this uh, but in this case I think it worked fine. So I just wanted to add slight color variation to the leaves. And I kept them really really saturated. Like I said, this is a stylized texture, so I think uh, saturated colors uh, look fine in this case. So one thing that happens is if I change the scale of the tile sampler, the flood fill does mess up a little bit. Uh, which is why this is not necessarily the best way to add color variation to it. So the final thing is just to add the height map. And for the height map, I just reduce the leaves um, a little bit so that they don't come out too much in comparison to the stone and also blur them a little bit. And then finally, I got the roughness map from the curvature smooth. This is usually how I like to get uh, roughness maps. And sometimes I also combine them with the noise textures just to get a little bit more variation on that. In this case, the, the ground texture is relatively, I think it's fine that it's relatively uh, uniform. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this texture. So here's what it looks like in uh, Marmoset Toolback Render. So if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, I recommend you hit the subscribe button. And I will see you all in the next video. Do you see this environment right here? I made this really quickly using Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, and Substance Designer and Unreal Engine. You too can make something like this really easily and in a short period of time. To make an environment like this one, all you have to do is make a few simple props, put them together in Unreal, and then simply add some lights and you're pretty much done. So hey, this is only a 45 second ad, so there's not enough time for me to cover everything. So click on the link below now and I will show you exactly how I made this environment. 
The best thing about learning how to make an environment like this one is that you can simply use the same techniques to pretty much make any other type of environment. Oh, and by the way, you don't need to be an expert already in order to learn how to make something like this. You can follow along without any prior knowledge. I will be showing you the basics on how to use Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, Substance Designer, and Unreal Engine, so you can follow along without any issue. Like I said, this is a very short video, so I don't have enough time to explain everything. So click on that link below and I will show you exactly how this is done. And by the way, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this for, so click on that link now so you don't miss out.